Have you found yourself having to pick yourself up and dust yourself off after a fail or a bad experience with your inventing an entrepreneur process? Well, I want to show you how to make the next time not like the last time. It's Don Skaggs again with Empowered Inventing TV, where we try to help you help other people by taking your great innovation, the right opportunity, mixing that with sound wisdom so you can turn them into real things like products and businesses that actually make money, actually produce a revenue. Uh, so I want to talk to you today about how to make the next time not like the last time. And what do I mean by that? Well, there's a lot of you inventors and entrepreneurs out there and you've, you've, uh, you, you've been kind of disappointed after trying to launch something, maybe it's a product, maybe it's a business, only to see it not really take off. And uh, if you've been one of those people, you know, maybe you tried and failed at an invention. Maybe you build a website, you bought Facebook ads, you just really pushed it all the way out there, and then crickets. It just didn't work. It failed for whatever reason. And there can be a myriad of reasons why something did not work. Uh, so if you, but uh, when you pick yourself up and you dust yourself off and you decide, okay, I'm going to learn from this and I'm going to move on and I'm going to do uh, a different invention. I'm going to I want to try a different business. I'm not just going to throw up my hands and walk away. But the hard truth here is that you don't want the next time to be like the last time. And if you don't want the next time to be like the last time, you have to do something different in the meantime. It's the old um, adage of doing the same thing over and over uh, and uh, it's it, what they call it the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So don't just say, well I'm going to try this again and I'm going to do it exactly the same way I did it before. I just wasn't trying hard enough. I just wasn't and you know sometimes that can be the case. But, but, but usually there's other things in there, other factors in there, that 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 are that that really made it fail. Now, number one, and most importantly, is you definitely want there to be a next time. And like I said before, don't just throw your arms up and walk away if you failed once. You may be walking away from a wonderful opportunity because that fail you went through, that hard time, that really difficult, painful thing that happened to you, well, many big successes happened only after multiple failures. Now, you'll see I'll do a lot of videos. Sometimes it'll be like on historical great inventors and uh, uh, inventors of, of amazing things and, and I'll, a lot of times in their story, you'll, you'll hear, well, he tried to do this and it failed. And then he tried to do that. Oh, and it failed too. Oh, and then he tried to put this together and it failed. And they had multiple failures, one right after another. Uh, Colonel Sanders, uh, the uh, uh, creator of Kentucky Fried Chicken right here in Kentucky, uh, is a great example of that. Didn't, didn't start frying his first chicken until he was 65 years old. Uh, so, you know, it's uh, it, those multiple failures, the ones that walk away are the ones that, that are truly failing for life. You're, you're walking away, you're saying, okay, I am not going to ever try anything like this ever again, and I'm just going to go back to my little old dull routine and, and live out my life. You'll never know what could have been. Because those failures can help you. And I want to talk a little bit about that in a minute. But, but don't let fear of failing stop you from trying again. Now, I'm not saying try to do the same things again. I just, I just had mentioned you want it not to be. You want to do something different in the meantime. You want, it to, you want, you want, to, you want to let the fail be your teacher. You want to use that failure and instead of that failure using you. Uh, you, you, you want to take what you learned and use it for you and not against you. 
How do you use a fail against you? Well, you just let the fail take control and, and, and let the fail and just say, okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm just not going to ever try this again. I'm never going to try a risk again. I'm never going to uh, uh, try to better myself or change my legacy or, or, or come up with anything. Again, a lot of very successful inventors are serial, serial fails. All these fails they had and all these fails they survived, picked themselves up, dusted themselves off, and, and went on again. This is, this is indicative of successful inventing and entrepreneurship. Let the fail be your teacher, not, uh, not the other way around. Um, <clears throat> so learn, learn, learn from others who've also made mistakes. Now, I tell you what, if you want to avoid a lot of mistakes, well, you want to hang around like-minded people, good people, positive people. Uh, a lot of inventor groups are really, really great out there. We, we, we connect and talk with a lot of these groups. Uh, we do something called a, a, a super group meeting or an inventor group mixer where all these inventor groups come together. We just did one recently uh, uh, at the time of this recording. And, and all of these different groups and their members get to get together and meet each other. And, and, and learn from each other. But if you have an inventor group close to you, you've got an amazing thing and you want to join that group, especially if they're meeting in person and they're, you're, you get to do that face-to-face -face stuff, which is great. If you can't do that, there's uh, a lot of groups have online resources. If it's too far away or there's some other reason you can't go. Uh, uh, and of course we have one at kyinventors.org. We have a, a great online presence, online group. Uh, so, so you want to hang around these people. Why? Because you're going to hang around people that are going to say, well, I went through all of these painful mistakes and let me tell you about what, what happened to me and how I, I have learned those painful mistakes. And you can take that and use it so you don't have to go through those painful mistakes. You're standing on the shoulders of others. You're acquiring wisdom. That's, what's called, that's what acquiring wisdom is all about. You can learn it from making your own mistakes, or you can learn them from other people who have made those mistakes and survived them. Uh, so so you, you, you hang around these types of people. Find you a mentor. Uh, uh, find you, when you get into a group, find you an accountability partner, somebody that's going to help kind of motivate you and move you forward. And you, you would do the same for them. Uh, and this is why inventor groups are, are such a wonderful thing. And that's why we're, we're so involved with, uh, with ours. Uh, so you, you, wanna, you want to uh, take everything, that, all that being said, you want to take everything into account. And you want to think through um, you want to kind of turn the whole situation, you know, and, and, and here's the thing. If you had a fail, if you had a real painful uh, experience and, and it's like, okay, we tried this this way and it just did not work and it really, really hurt. It cost some money. It cost a lot of time. It was very frustrating. A lot of people got mad. Uh, you know, a hundred different bad things could happen. And you've been through all that, but you've, you, you know now, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give up on this. I'm going to make something out of this. And when you do that, then stop. And you'll be running this situation through your head a hundred times anyway. And since a lot of that's going to happen, it's kind of like going through a traumatic accident and you're just kind of reliving the, uh, uh, the accident in slow motion over and over again. Uh, and so when you are going through that, Think it through and use it to your advantage. Question everything. Take everything that you think you know and turn it on its head. Uh, you know, you're, maybe it's the function of the product and how the customers reacted to it. Maybe it was the market itself that you were selling to. Maybe it was the customer and you just didn't understand about what the customer really, really wanted. Uh, maybe it was the materials that you used. Uh, it, 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 I mean, you have to question everything and take the whole situation, take the entire bad uh, thing that you went through, turn it on its head and look through it and try to think of, okay, what were the good parts? What were the bad parts? Jettison the bad parts and, and look forward using those good parts and the things that you learn from other people. Uh, that's, that, that, that's a good way to move on with it. 
so it, it, did, maybe did you get your mes message out? Did you hit home with customers? Uh, were you truly relieving their pain points or did you just think you were relieving their pain points? And then when you started um, getting in touch with them, uh, you found out you really weren't in touch with them. So did you really get in touch with your customers? So you have to talk to lots of them. And, and, and maybe you're beating yourself up at this point too. And, and this happens a lot. Too. I'll see this a lot. Well, Don, I, I really didn't do what I knew I was supposed to do. Uh, I, I really didn't talk to enough customers. I really didn't, I, you know, I, I put the cart before the horse. I, I, I paid for this big patent and uh, with an attorney and I, I, I had the whole full-blown patent done before I ever found out I had a market. You know, there's always these things you can get. It's like the washing machine cycles are all out of order. You know, you're rinsing before you're, uh, before you're soaking. Uh, you know, and it, it's all these different things that you might have done. But just use those things to be your, again, like I said before, to be your teacher to, 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 to move forward. I didn't talk to a lot of customers last time. Well, guess what? Now you've learned a very good, valuable lesson. Now you're going to know, okay, if I talk to X number of people a day and X number of days a week for X number of months, I will have talked to X number of customers. And you get that in, in the more people you can talk to. And, 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 and I can tell you another thing. We did, we did the, uh, uh, a new innovation center at the Kentucky State Fair this year, at the, again, at the time of this, of this recording. And in, uh, one of the big takeaways we got from that, uh, uh, from that stint, it was 11 days long. We had inventors rolling in and out. They said, we learned more about our customers and who they were and what they cared about in those three or four days we were there, each of them were that was there, than we have in the entire time we've been trying to do this. So it, it might be your customer contact that you need to learn. Whatever you feel like you didn't do, just make a plan and, and, and learn from that and use it to, uh, to make the next one not like the last one, as I was saying. Did you count the cost? Did you understand the components? Did you really know how to, how to build one? Not just a prototype, but how to build it from, design it for manufacturing. Did you, do you know how you could make not just one, not just 10, but 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000? Uh, was your market reachable? That's another thing you might have to question your, your, yourself about. So let me, let me throw out this question for you. What is your next step? Uh, did you fail at something that you're, you're ready to pick yourself up from and you're ready to start over or you're ready to pick it back up and say, okay, I'm not going to make this time like the last time. I'm going to take all the things bad about this and I'm going to jettison that just like I'm throwing it off uh, overboard of a ship and I am, uh, and I'm taking this good stuff and I'm, and I'm, I'm moving ahead with it. What's your next step? What's, what's it going to be? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, and if you are looking for a good guide through what steps you need to do, uh, check out our idea steps. It's on uh, empoweredinventing.com. Just sign up and we will send that to you for free. Uh, and again, that's empoweredinventing.com. This is Empowered Inventing TV. Like, subscribe, help us to build our tribe. I'm Don Skaggs, and I will look to see you at the next meeting, workshop, maybe one of those online courses, or on the next video.